Hey, I'm KIC, and my goodness, we have a severe rat problem. This is not good. So I think we need to hire yet another, yet another janitor. This is, oh my goodness. How many janitors do we have going on now? Anyway, what does our shift planning look like? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, shoot. Let's have everyone come in nice and early like that. We're going to stagger them like so. And then we're going to hire some new janitors. We're going to hire two more just because I feel like we just, we need some janitors. I mean, this place is gross. It is disgusting. I, I'm kind of ashamed to look at this and, and see that this is what we have going on. This, this just is not okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be okay. I think think. Let's do it like that. 10 to 6. Uh, 9, 10. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna... That'll be fine. Okay. Sure. Roll with that. And with any luck, uh, we'll get rid of all the rats and all that sort of stuff. Oh my goodness. This is getting just out of hand, gross, disgusting, awful, etc. We made 12 grand yesterday, which is not a new record, but it's pretty close. And I suspect as we continue onward, we're going to see that only rise. Now, part of the problem is uh, we still don't have some of the, the best things that we need to be selling, but we're getting there. But this store is pretty awesome. Uh, we have some road work going on. So while you are doing that, since we can, let's go ahead and add all of some more customer parking right there. That'll be exciting. I'm glad I ended up putting in as much staff parking as I did. I suspect that still might not be enough, but it's going to be fine for now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's actually plenty. Well, it's plenty for the morning staff. I don't know that it's plenty for the, uh, the rest of the staff, but whatever. We're not concerned about that. It's fine. Uh, so we got people in here getting rid of all the rats. Okay, good. And we just need our janitors to come in and haul all the trash out. That would be great. I'd really appreciate if they would do that. I would appreciate. Thank you very much. I'm so glad to see that happen. All right. One thing I haven't been paying close attention to with respect to this store is if three stock clerks is enough. Oh, research done. Oh, goodness. Uh, we could do bowling. We could do cinema. I don't really care about those. Let's do road number two. Oh, we need to do... Actually, you know what? Hold on. We need to do something else we haven't done yet. Uh, no, I guess we did. Okay, never mind. We did. I just pay, don't pay any attention to that. I want to watch the store on high speed for a day or two. Like, I'm, I'm... Seriously, I'm just... I'm watching the store right now because I'm paying attention to shelves. Like, that shelf is low, that shelf is low... This stuff in here is getting low, but nothing is getting to the point where it's empty. Like, that's low. But part of that is because there's a big demand for fresh meat, and we don't have a lot of it, because that's fish right there. This is meat. This is dairy and dairy, I think. So, I mean, just looking at this right now, I feel like I can say... Oh, man, we need, we need a closer... We need a closer maintenance office. What are you doing? She's going to go all the way back here and then come back all the way over here. That's the problem. Is there... They're not... Uh, this is stupid. Okay, so we need a new maintenance center. That has become clear to me. We need a new maintenance center. I want to build one. Right here, I think. Something like that. Like literally, just super small ish. Here, we'll do we'll do it like that. Now it just that, that makes me feel a little better. It's basically the size of a of a parking space, and that's fine. I don't it's it's cool. We'll do two staff doors like so, and we'll assign that as a maintenance center once it's open. 
Theoretically, this is no longer going to be the dirty grocery store. That'll be good. Once this maintenance center is built and available, we're going to transfer a bunch of staff over here. That way they're not running around like idiots because I cannot stand for that. That is just obnoxious. I cannot allow that to be the case. Maintenance center. Okay, so that's maintenance center number 25, even though technically it's number 22. Whatever. Minor details. Now let's go to this guy, maintenance center zero. And then we're going to transfer Molly to Maintenance Center 25. And then let's go back to this guy, Phil. He's one of our other new employees. We're going to transfer him to 25. Go back to zero. And then we need to get some of these people who are early morning crew. Like 6 o'clock. I don't know. Maybe uh, here we'll do Courtney. We're going to transfer you to 25, and then let's go back to this guy. Let's get one of our, our afternoon crew. Stanley, let's transfer you to 25. Fine. Perfect. Now, technically, yes, there's a lot more going on on this side of the map, but there's... Oh! Break his legs! Break his legs! Break your legs! Good job! Good job, man! What did you do? How did, how did that work out for you? Uh, let's see. Let's manage you. Let's get some information about you. Uh... You did recover something. I saw you. You you broke her legs and then took whatever she tried to steal. I'm pretty sure you did. Oh, man. I have the meanest security staff around. Now, theoretically, we're going to be able to rename the store today if it's no longer dirty. I don't know that it will no longer be dirty. I'm kind of hoping it'll no longer be dirty. Oh, my gosh. There's still just trash and just crap everywhere. Um, Did everyone... Yeah, I was afraid of that. I should have done that at night. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's going to be a nasty, dirty, squalor hole of refuse and garbage for another day. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Break legs, yes. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Good. So, we got some legs broken. Everything's good. The store's about to close. And it's done. People are going away. Theoretically, we'll get some staff coming in. They'll take care of it. Uh, manage. Where is our... Uh, nope, I'm looking at the wrong one. I need to plan this out, too. I think some of these people who come in late... Maybe, like, um... Janitors. We don't really have any... Okay, whatever. It's fine. We'll just... We'll let it go. It's fine. I'm hoping that by having these people over here, that it'll work out and they'll, they'll be able to take care of stuff. Yeah, go ahead and kill all the rats. This is kind of a problem. I mean, you guys should all be coming to work momentarily. Six hours, nine hours, nine hours. Okay. I think having them over here will help out. Oh, the, the rats are back. Kill all the rats and then get rid of all the trash. Oh, this place got even worse because I didn't have people running around in it for a day. This is insane. This is nuts. This is awful. Holy cow. Um, we don't have enough janitors. <laughs> Look at it. It's getting worse. It's explosive. The growth of footprints and garbage. It's explosive. Yep, someone had their legs broken over here. That's exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay. Maintenance center 25. Uh, okay. Nope. You guys. That might be part of the problem. Okay, let's, let's do this. We're going to hire two more janitors. So we're going to hire Willie and Wallace. You put them together and you have William Wallace. And we're going to have you coming in at, um, let's have you do, like, you guys are going to be the, the midnight crew, all right? There you go. Oh, maybe that's what happened. I didn't pay attention to all of this, so they're all coming in at the same time. That's problematic. You guys should be staggered. Absolutely should be staggered. I mean, technically, that's... 
That's what makes the most sense is to do that. I probably screwed it all up again because people are not going to come in because I adjusted their stuff, but whatever, it's fine. Six people basically for this store and these two. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. I don't understand why they have to go back there every time. That is so wasteful. I mean, when they're doing the the footprint stuff, they're fine. But when they grab the trash, they have to go back to the maintenance facility. That is such a waste of time. I just, I don't understand that. Why, what is, what is going on? Do you have to go back and check for orders after hauling a bag of trash? I don't understand. I don't understand. Hey, look at that. This door is clean. It is no longer a wreck. Well, it's clean-ish. There's now a bunch of trash up here because, you know... Oh my gosh, this store is just nuts. This store is outrageous. I mean, even with... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! We still need more janitors. And our research is done. What can we do? We can uh, research more stuff. I guess we could do bowling and cinema. Here, we'll do bowling just for giggles. Maybe we'll open up a bowling grocery store. I don't know. Um, Father's Day is coming up. And then a major smartphone release. That's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that one. Back to school. Start of autumn. That's coming around. I'm just trying to watch this and go, oh my gosh. Yeah, we don't have enough. This is silly. Let's hire three more. I mean, I just, I, I don't know how to keep up with this. This is just ridiculous. Uh, let's hire the fast people. That's really all I kind of care about. Okay. So, shift planning. Where are you people? Where are all the noobs? They're all right here. Someone's going here, someone's going here, and someone's going there. All right, noobs. Come on in. Yeah, rats. Mm-hmm. No restaurants. Queues full at the dirty grocery store. Queues full at the quickie stop. Squalor. Mm-hmm. More rats. Yeah, I know. I know. We're, we're trying to take care of this. We are trying to take care of this. This store is going to get nuts for a day or so. Coming up. That's, uh, that's going to be right around the corner. I think what we'll do is before that day rolls around, so we'll, we'll adjust the, the work shifts on that one, and it, we'll end up working people like all day long, and it'll be good. It will be good. This one is going to end up being okay, because this one's going to be covered pretty well, I think. That'll be fine. We'll leave that as is. I think that ends up being okay. We don't have problems there. Yeah, I know. We have rats. We are making so much money, though. Look at this. 13 grand, although we lost a bunch of money there, because what ends up happening is the people see it's like just gross as gross can be, and they don't come back, and then they come back later, and then they're like, oh, it's gross, and then they're... Like, I don't want to come back. And then they're like, oh, it's gross. I'm, I'm not going to come back. And then they're like, oh, it's gross. And then they're like, oh, that's what I did. I transferred builders. <gasps> that's in part why it's so problematic. I didn't realize I did that. I was wondering. Okay, builders. Where are the builders? Oh, wow. I transferred nothing but builders, basically. Well, that's why it's problematic. Actually, that's fine, though, because most of their building is going to be over here. As a matter of fact, you know what? That actually makes perfect sense to do that. Let's transfer uh, Let's transfer Polly over there. That makes good sense. We're going to transfer you to number 25. And then we're going to go back to our builders. We're going to basically transfer just about everyone. We'll transfer Sammy because it makes sense to have him over here where all the, where all the new stuff is going to be happening. We might leave one. Just, now nah, you know what? It doesn't even make any sense to leave them. Kind of wish I could group transfer, but that's okay. That I can even transfer them is awesome. I mean, you, you didn't used to be able to do this, I don't think. So there we go. We'll transfer all the builders all over here. That's fine. I'm, I'm good with that. So all our builders are over here. This is really where they need to be because this is where the work is. And then we have 140 grand to start playing with. We're going to have a smartphone sale coming up. That's going to be pretty soon here. 
starts in one day and six hours, so we're going to have a little bit of time to play with before that comes up. And I guess we can start looking at doing a new foundation. So if we do something like this, let's do that as a foundation, not walls. That would be helpful. A 15 by 15. 45 grand. Do it. Let's do it. We haven't done any building in a couple of days, so I'm good with this. We've been we've been playing Manage the Dirty Grocery Store so much that I um, haven't really had much time. Look at that. Since we have so many janitors around now, it's actually looking pretty clean. I would like to not see any footprints in there whatsoever. I would like to not see any trash in there. I think we might be in a good place here. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're, we're in a pretty good place. Let's manage this. Let's go back to number 25. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to adjust this. Okay, let's go with just our janitors. Did I hire a bunch of builders instead of janitors? Is that what happened? I think I did. I hired a ton of builders, and I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, wait a minute. That's what's going on. I hired a bunch of people as... All right. Fire you. Fire you. And we don't really need as many builders as we have. There are a ton of builders here. Um... I meant to hire a bunch of janitors. That's why this is so messed up. My goodness. All right. I like having builders around the clock, so... Eh, whatever. It's fine. We'll, we'll try this and see what happens when we have... No, it just doesn't make any sense to have this many. All right. Stanley, you've been fired. So sorry. Courtney, you've been fired. Don't worry. I'm going to rehire all of you people, probably. Here, let's do... Let's do two shifts. We'll do something like that. Because it does kind of make sense to have people here at later hours. You know, stuff breaks. Outbreak of rats. That sort of stuff. Just makes sense. Okay, so. Hire janitor. Hire janitor. Hire janitor. Hire janitor. Okay. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did that. I can. Okay, so we have a ton of janitors now, which is great. We don't need that we don't need that many like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of the hours on these people. I'm okay with having a bunch of janitors, but we're going to cut some hours here. Jim, we're going to cut your hours and you're going to be here. We'll give you 4 hours. And uh, we're going to cut your hours a little bit. We'll give you something like this. We're going to move these guys right here. And then we're going to drop these ones back a little bit. I think we'll do something along these lines. So we've actually cut... That's the equivalent of one employee. That's the equivalent of about one and a half. Oh... Uh, I'm going to say we can probably drop you guys down to six, so that's saving half an employee. Perfect. I want to say that's good enough for now. Fine. No problem. We can roll with that, right? Right. All right. Zoom the day by. So the next thing we got to do is when this day ends, we're going to go into this store right here, our smartphone store, which has a major release coming up. And we're going to adjust that. This is no longer the dirty grocery store, potentially. Potentially, we shall see. We need to watch it for a day, though, and see what happens. Maybe two. Actually, let's see. How are you doing on money? Two grand. I said this was not going to be a big money maker. I might be wrong. Two grand is a good chunk of change. I am not upset about that at all. Look at that! They're cleaning crap up! It is no longer the dirty grocery store. I think. I mean, a couple hours are passing by here. There we go. 
they are taking care of stuff pretty much right away. This is excellent. This is good. This is good. Okay. No, you guys are doing great. I mean, there's always going to be a little... A little bit of stuff. Some footprints. A little bit of garbage, whatever. Something. There's always going to be. Okay. So here we are. We are coming up on smartphone release day. So we got to do some shift planning of the cashiers over here. Uh, so we are going to do it like so. We're going to just have you people pretty much working all day. Um, something like that. Yeah, you're going to be working all day long, buddy. As a matter of fact, you know what the heck with it. Everyone works all day long. You're never getting a break. I am so sorry, but I need the money. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. And while you're doing that, we can kind of keep an eye on it since we're going to be in the neighborhood. We are right here. Look at that. This is good stuff. We need to build some doers. And where do we want to put this? This is going to be a restaurant, by the way. I didn't quite tell you what this was going to be, but I mean, I've been telling you. We're making a restaurant next, so if if you were if you were kind of paying attention to that, then you know we've got a restaurant here. So look at that. We can put this guy. Um, why don't we do something a little different? Let's do the restaurant off to to the side, maybe. I've not really built one like this, so this is kind of weird. Oh well, that kind of works, I guess. We got to have some storage in here. One. Two, three, I guess, counters is enough. I, I just don't know. We started to get into some weird stuff with this, right? The soda dispenser, um, that one doesn't rotate. That still doesn't rotate. Okay, you know what? I, I, was, I was thinking that everything rotated these days. Fast food warmer, that does not rotate. The cooking range does, so... Yeah, we're not ready to do that just yet. All right, never mind. Here, we'll we'll go traditional on this. Cause if it's not gonna rotate, I, I don't I just it doesn't look right to me. It looks funky. So I don't want to go there. One, two. We'll start off with three and see if that's sufficient. And then we're going to need some warmers. So we'll do one, two, three. We'll do something like that. We'll do the soda dispenser right there. And then we need some cooking ranges. Do one like that and one like that maybe. I realize this is kind of weird, but um, it'll, it'll be fine. So we'll do something like this. Okay, and then we need some storage area. That is not storage, by the way. That'll be storage right there. Okay, so we need to put in some doors. Where's the door gonna go? Where's the door gonna go? Actually, no, that doesn't work. Oh, crud. Nope, okay. Um, cancel that. Okay, let's go back to figuring this out. This is the problem. I never quite figure out how to build these right. I always build my fast food restaurants wrong. So maybe we'll do it like this. We'll do one right there and one right there. That'll be fine. And then we'll put up some walls. Let's see, one, two, three. Some walls like this. So we'll build a staff door. Right there, we will assign storage as being right there. That's not ideal, but we don't really need a ton of, of storage. We'll do a fast food restaurant. We're going to start off with fast food. We will go to fine dining when we have a better plan of all of this. So, you know, we're getting there. This is fast food restaurant. You are all fast food restaurant. 
And then we're going to need a new wall. So we can do something over here. One, two. Like so, that'll be fine. We'll add a door right here. Put the door right there. We're going to put a... Oh, where is all this stuff? Okay, let's go to restroom. Let's make my life easier. Restroom, restroom. We can go ahead and move the game along again. I think we've made enough progress. Oh, nope, that's not going to work. We'll just do... Uh, that cannot be built until there's a wall there. That's fine. I kind of feel like I should do a larger restroom than that. Here, let's do that, and then we'll do walls slightly larger. Nope, that's the exact same size. Try again. There we go. That'll be okay. We'll, we'll make that work. Okay, that'll be fine. And then we'll assign uh, this as a restroom. And then we need another doer. Where's our doers? Because technically, oh yeah, it's it's smartphone day. People are stealing left and right. Look at that. It's awesome. Break their legs. Thanks. Appreciate it. Let's do a double door right there. For smartphone release day, um, I don't feel like the store is as insane as I thought it was going to be. Meanwhile, everyone's about to have an aneurysm. Oh, and research is done. So we'll go to uh, bus transport 2. At this point, we're just going to kind of bounce around between a few of these. All right. Everyone else left because they couldn't take it anymore. So we'll do some shift planning. We're going to knock these people back a little bit. And knock them around like so. There you go. There you go. Maybe like that. Sure, that looks great. I am curious. What did this store make? So it made 1960 yesterday, and it made eight grand. Well, now yesterday. On, on release day. That's insane. That is amazing. That is insane amazing. It's, it's amazing. Wow, we didn't make much money the previous day. That's kind of a bummer. The store's looking good. You need a new name. You are no longer the dirty grocery store. You are now the pristine grocery store. Welcome to pristine, where everything is pristine. As things making pretty decent money. I'm not I'm not upset with that at all. It's making good scratch. Uh, we need to hire some people in here and also put some tables and crap down. So let us do that. Restaurant. Fine fast food restaurant. Yes, I realize that doesn't quite work. Uh, actually, you know what? We need to finish this restroom off. So restroom and then... I don't think we can put... Can we put that right there? I think that screws things up by having both of those. Okay, maybe not. For some reason, I had it in my mind that that screwed stuff up. But maybe not. No, I think that's okay. All right, whatever. Let's go back to fast food restaurant. We need to put in some fast food food court tables. So we're going to use some tables like one, two... Um, no? Can I try that again? It is indoors, though. I... Okay. Um... Alright. I mean, you are indoors, but... Can I... No, that that doesn't that doesn't matter. Okay, that's cool. I'll I'll just place you like that. That's whatever. It's no big deal to me. It's no big deal. I I find that a little bizarre, but it's fine. Put a couple of those guys down. We'll do some additional 
tables like so. Look at that. You'll fit just fine. You'll fit just fine. And um, I guess that'll be okay. I feel like we need more trash cans somewhere. Just like people are going to be jerks if we don't. So we'll do a trash can right there. One trash can for the whole place. I see no problem with this. Let's manage this restaurant. We're going to assign some storage. We're not going to open this store today. We are going to open it tomorrow, which means we will need to do some staffing and all of that. And alas, we shall do our staffing. <gasps> Halloween's coming up on the next episode. So I'll catch you on that one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.